Now we review Universal Basic Guys Episode 6, Birdcage. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so I have seen Episode 6 of the Universal Basic Guys Birdcage, in which uh, Mark becomes the um, coach of the Eagles, which is a bit football team, yes. Before I go any further, let me remind you that for every thousand subscribers I get, I do purchase one of these bracelets from the company 4Ocean. 4Ocean then pulls a pound of trash out of the ocean every time I do that. I'm giving you an opportunity to save the world for free. Don't waste it. Anyway, for those of you unacclimated, Universal Basic Guys is apparently the story of two brothers who get a universal basic income after their job at a hot dog factory was taken over by machines. There is at least one other person who gets a universal basic income who is not a main character. Okay. In addition to the two brothers, there are supporting characters, Mr. In Touch With His Feminine Side, and a couple other people who are annoying alpha male wannabes. And in this particular episode... Some dude apparently has a Super Bowl ring for the Eagles, and the Super Bowl ring for the Eagles permits Mark Thumbhead uh, Hoagies to uh, uh, want to get his own ring because apparently this gives you respect. Hoagies apparently knows nothing about football because he's a thumbhead, and <laughs> which I don't understand. He seems like the kind of person that would know about football. That's who he is. And then there's his brother there to eat up screen time, who in this episode is very much there to eat up screen time. It's weird. And there is essentially three plots going on. There is Thumbhead as the coach, there to eat up screen time as a mascot, and then the wife and in touch with his feminine side watching the game. That's what you're getting with this episode. And I will admit this is the first time I actually laughed watching this show. So this episode is probably better than average. I did find it absolutely cringeworthy. And it's like, you know, how is it Mark is not getting the heck kicked out of him? Because Thumbhead is a very annoying person. But It's just one of those things that his ineptitude at football rather annoys me. And a reoccurring theme with this uh, television show appears to be that rich people are incredibly stupid. Just painfully stupid. And I recall the fact that the idea for this show comes from a Whoopi Goldberg movie, which I actually thought was a really good movie. At least I think I thought it was a good movie. I don't recall what the name of the movie was, but Whoopi Goldberg plays this um, uh, basketball fan, I think it's Whoopi Goldberg, who absolutely loves basketball, and, you know, she winds up like she's a taxi driver who drives um, drives the coach or the owner of the team to a game or something, winds up becoming a coach because cheap. It's cheaper to hire her. That is a movie that happened, and it was a pretty good movie. This TV show is very much meh. It is meh. The madness of this television show is very meh. The idea that, that um, mascots are more than just people in suits there's some Marvel influences here, some Iron Man going on. And you kind of expected there to be an Iron Man versus Thor moment, but that never materializes. I'm going to make the assumption here that if I knew more about football, I would probably have enjoyed this more. And, you know, football is the American pastime. In other countries, we call it uh, American football because they call soccer football because they're wrong and we're America. <laughs> F yeah. So, again, this show, it's 
a little on the low energy side. I thought the point where Mark her thumb head was was touching the uh, player's rear ends was a little weird. I don't really know if I consider that funny or why you would do that. So, you know, okay, I guess it's a football thing. I mean, I played football my freshman year in high school. I hated it, and uh, I never never uh, played football again in my life. So that that was that. Anyway, so this episode belongs uh, in the middle of your watch list, lower middle, in fact. It's not great. It's not terrible. I mean, it's not the worst episode. It's not the best episode. I would say that if you if you don't like football, you should probably just not watch this. And if you do like football, you'll probably get more of a chuckle out of it than me. I mean, I relate the most to In Touch With His Feminine Side... But he is posing, trying to be a real man, because his wife knows he's not much of a man. And I mean, I get that, you know. I would rather read a book than watch a football game. That's who I am as a person. But I would never go to a football game in order to pretend to be masculine, because I am secure in who I am. And I know how masculine I am. Sports don't really interest me. They never will. And this episode... Eh. Took me a while to get through it, even though it was only 22 minutes long. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Love to hear yours. Comments below. I'm Richard. Randall the Rat here, reminding you to comment, like, and subscribe. And why should you do that? Well, look over here. These, these are bracelets from 4 Ocean. Each one of them means a pound of trash was pulled out of the ocean. And this channel buys one for every thousand subscribers it gets. And this around my neck? Well, this is a medal from the Conqueror. It represents walking around the Great Pyramids of Giza. You can get one for yourself by going to the Conqueror challenges.com and saying, Hey, I, I want to pretend I walked around the pyramids of Giza without dealing with all the sweat and flies and then delicious scarab beetles. Or, or you could support this channel so they can buy more of these, which means that they will plant trees because each one of these represents five trees that got planted. Yeah, that's right. Five trees helping your environment. Global warming sucks. Be a good person. Comment, like, and subscribe. Give us more money so that we can plant trees by buying metals from the Conqueror. Randall out.